Hi, my name is Elaine and I work at the Moore Public Library, which is part of the Pioneer Library System. And I want to welcome you to Process Art for Preschool Fun. And process art is just simply about the process. So we're not giving a sample or expecting an end result that looks a certain way. It's more about having fun and being creative in the process. You'll also find that children benefit from this kind of activity. Um, their fine and gross motor skills can benefit. They can work on problem solving. Um, sometimes there's science or sensory elements to the program and it's something the whole family can enjoy. So hopefully all of you will um, get together and do this together because older children and adults can also enjoy it. Okay, here we go, let's get started. Okay, for torn paper art, you'll need a piece of paper, a pencil, and some various different colors of construction paper, and some glue. You can start out by making a picture, and I'm drawing a little monster here, a little monster face, or, Kids can simply tear paper and make their own abstract or design of whatever kind they want with the torn pieces of paper. So just tear up the paper and fill those spaces in or they can tear and design as they, as they feel free to. When children tear up a piece of paper, they improve their hand strength and their endurance in the small muscles of the hand. That's a great benefit to this project. And the intrinsic muscles are important in so many fine motor skills, including handwriting, coloring, managing buttons and zippers, manipulating pegs, and much more. And here's a completed peacock that I made. For our next project, we'll be doing blooming paper flowers. This is a lot of fun. Um, kids will draw flowers on a piece of paper. Uh, they'll fold the petals into the middle of the flower and then add the flowers to a bowl of water. So you'll need some stickers, some construction paper, a pencil, some scissors, and a bowl of water, which you can add food coloring to if you want. Just drew out a simple little four petal flower. Doesn't have to be perfect at all. And I stacked my pages together just so as I'm cutting, go a little quicker to make the flowers, but kids can cut one at a time, whatever, whatever you want to do. Um, it's for kids, it's probably easier to just do one at a time. So cut out your little flowers and here we have a couple different colors and then take your stickers and put a sticker in the middle of each one and fold in the petals. You may have to, when you get started folding, just make your crease um, as flat as you can and you'll just want to show children how they can use their finger to push down or they can use a pencil the side of a pencil just to make that stay down really well so that um, you get the maximum benefit of the bloom when they bloom the flowers your children will be delighted to watch these flowers magically unfold in the water to create the colorful stickers inside also okay here we go, we're going to add them to the water, here we have a big bowl of water, and add your flowers and you're going to be really amazed, kids will love this. As the paper absorbs the water, the flower opens up. You can put a sticker in the middle to see a surprise inside the flower. You can tell kids, paper is made from trees, which is wood, that can be ground into pulp and dried, and plants absorb water through a process called osmosis. This is the movement of water across a membrane from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. Just like a wilted plant expands and perks up when it's finally watered, the fibers in our paper flower swell and expand when placed in water, causing the flower to open up. Enjoy a little science with this process art project. For our final project today, we're going to create a stick letter. So you'll need some sticks, some rubber bands, some little scissors, and some yarn. So you're gonna look through your sticks, uh, let the child look and see, maybe practice to make a few, sh a few letter shapes. 
Uh, they may even want to make the letter first letter of their name. We're going to do an L. So get your sticks out uh, in the shape of an L and then line them up and use their rubber band to hold it in place. That'll help the child to hold the letter in place while they're wrapping the yarn around. Uh, this project is free and free is always good. The items are freely available, which means you don't need to pre-plan. You don't need a trip to the store. You can, most of us have a little yarn around. You could even use some string if you wanted to. Um, so just cut some yarn. You may need to help them tie it on. And for younger children, you wanna cut the pieces pretty short so that they're not dealing with a lot to wrap. And you can always add more as you go. Just keep wrapping and wrapping the shorter pieces. You can tie it off as they wrap a new piece on and they'll just wrap it around and make a letter shape. And kids will really enjoy this, they'll be really proud. We made uh, a letter L here, and we also did a letter M. Mm -hmm.